Hi Virgos, Sun's Moon's and Rising signs. Okay, so for the month of March, um, I actually kind of saw you glued to your computer. Um, it looked like you were either researching something. It felt like a lot of planning and preparation going into the month. It felt very like busy, almost like you were like I don't know investigating something. That's kind of how like it felt to me, like tuning into your general vibration and your energy. Um, now, what I actually feel is going to be taking place in the catalyst for the month of March, I feel like it's about planning ahead of time. It's about, yeah, future planning. It's about discovering things, okay? Um, and I feel like you need to not get so rigid with your plans. Like, yes, yeah, set your plans in motion. But I feel like you're good. there's something this month that you just you're not seeing. You can't see it. Like you're just not seeing something. And I feel like when you discover that said thing, things it's gonna cause like a cause an effect or a, a change is gonna take place from that said thing. So I feel like this is a month where maybe you are gonna wanna go on a journey. Maybe there is this meeting, planning, something going on that requires some sort of movement or travel, whether it is, I don't know, you have to go for a business meeting or business trip out of town or something. It kind of feels to me though, that you really do need to plan ahead. Um, planning ahead, but not necessarily being stuck or concrete with those plans, because I don't want to say it because it sounds horrible, but it could very well make a very difficult and costly um, bad choice um, potentially you can make a wrong turning with something so it shows to me that there is this decision the energy of March is deciding um, which way do you go future plans you know and um, it's going to implement the future so you need to plan ahead of time I guess it's not necessarily taking people at face value um, I feel like it yeah the choice feels like you have to make a strong choice you need to be strong in your choices and it's not about playing friends it's not about this person seems so lovely and so nice if they're shit at their job if this is job related don't be hiring someone because you think that they're going to be your new like bestie like that's not the way to go any good burger any good manager knows that okay um not that you can't have a great, like a really great working relationship, but when you overstep that mark, that's when there's like that boundary is just like non-existent, right? So you're needing to make a very firm and difficult choice that you're gonna need to be very set in stone with it. And I don't know whether you're, I don't know, like I said, don't go off of something because of hearsay, okay? Don't take someone at face value. Um, I guess, yeah, I mean, I did see you kind of researching into something. So when you, it's only like, I don't know. Um, if you are a manager or something like that, like if you're in a position of power and you have an opening for a position, make sure that you personally are viewing them watching them and then ask for other people who are a part of your team already what their views and opinions are of them it doesn't mean you have to take their their advice or anything like that i don't know it kind of feels like you have to be very thorough with the decision or the choice that you're making now i'm going in the direction of work because it feels very like fiery it feels very like i don't know creative it feels very like momentum -y. Um, so to me, I don't know, I'm resonating that with work for some reason. I feel like, I don't know, it requires hard work, you know, and you're going to have to put in the work. Um, you don't want to make a wrong choice. Um, it's kind of what I'm getting at here. Because I feel like, yeah, the general advice is there's something that you're not seeing and you need to separate yourself from... I don't know, you need to take a step back and assess something from a future vision perspective, you know? Um, yeah, just like gaining a bigger, broader perspective onto something. 
are you making the right choice? Is this the right choice? Are you 100% certain with this choice? Because if I'm honest, it feels like, it feels like you may regret the choice that you make. May. May regret the choice that you make. Um, just as a side note. Now, I also am picking up on a female from the past. I don't know whether you're going to hear news from this person or this person just shows up somewhere. It's a female energy. It doesn't have to be a female as in like a female. It can just be someone with feminine energy from your past. It's coming back in for some reason. Um, and that may put a little bit of a spanner in the works where then your attention is taken away from this choice and you miss something. Um, definitely by the end of this month, things are going to change, like big changes. Um, and I feel like what you need to do is, if you can avoid making the decision, avoid making the decision. You know, but if you can't and you have to make a commitment, wait it out or drag it out for as long as you can and kind of just, I don't know, it feels like you need to bend a new perspective onto something. I do feel like there's going to be like a big, I do feel like there's going to be a big change, an ending to something, some sort of pain or release is happening, like pain release, you know, it kind of just feels like, ugh. and then you're kind of left in this space where whatever it is that you do make a choice about, it feels like you're having to sacrifice something for it, so yeah, just make sure that you're making the right choice in general okay so hopefully you'll be able to resonate with this um if you would like a personal reading i'd be more than happy to read for you you can do so at my website and if you want to connect with me you can do so at my facebook page so thank you so much and have a beautiful day or night wherever you are and i'll hopefully speak to you soon bye